Welcome to KTN Business. Now, here's something you won't hear very often. It might just be profitable to be in the dark because you will soon get compensation from Kenya Power for outages that last more than three hours. Parliamentarians say that the proposal, part of an amendment to the Energy Act, will ensure that Kenya Power takes responsibility for financial losses and physical injuries due to power outages, which are a common occurrence in the country. KTN's Charles Gitonga reports. Kenya Power will soon be required to take more responsibility over cases of power outage in the country as Parliament moves to amend the current Energy Act. If the proposal becomes law, the power distributor will be required to compensate domestic, business and industrial consumers for blackouts lasting more than three hours in a day. According to the bill, the compensation packs should cover financial losses and physical injuries caused. We visited businesses in Nairobi's central business district and the owners had a story to tell on how frequent blackouts affect the operations. For instance, owners of this bakery, Black Forest House, have to throw out 40 cakes in a month due to power outage, which they say cost them at least 60,000 shillings. Gibson Coffee House also loses between 15 to 20,000 shillings worth of business every month. If the power is off also and the machine is, 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 is turned on, eh? when it comes, there's a breakage of our machine. They come with force, then the oven is burned. We have to call a, a oven repair guy to come and repair. Those, there's an extra cost for that also. When we have a power blackout, we can't brew our coffee because the machine will be off. So maybe we have customers who want and coffee that time. We can't brew coffee. They so will have some delays. And they'll be disappointed because maybe some are in a hurry to leave. According to the International Energy Agency, Kenyan homes and industries experience more than 600 hours of power outage, which translates to billions of shillings worth of business losses and physical injuries. It also means that the cost of doing business increases as businesses invest in alternative means of electricity, such as diesel-powered generators. As such, the proposed amendment is being met with excitement among domestic consumers who feel this will finally compel Kenya Power to provide seamless power supply or bear the painful consequences. It means that our Kenyans, we are, we are moving from third world to a first world country. The big question is, will Kenya Power be able to compensate? This kind of uh, compensation also should be very much, uh, should be examined with a lot of care so that we are not going to put our Kenya power into financial constraints. The power distributor says outages are the result of old and run-down equipment and infrastructure that is prone to wastage and leakages. Kenya power plans to spend up to 156 billion shillings in the next three years to upgrade its aging infrastructure to enable it to handle the 5,000 megawatts expected to be loaded on the grid by 2017. Charles Gitonga, KTN News.